kwamba imefika wakati mwingine wa kusikia neno na ili tukaweza kubalikiwa Bwana Yesu asifiwe naomba mkanisaidie kupiga makofi tumkaribisha mtumishi wa Mungu na ili akaweza kutunenea neno la Mungu akatubariki pamoja Amen let's appreciate the present worship Hallelujah Thank you so much present worship I want to bring you a message that I promised to you last uh, Sunday. Hallelujah. Nilisema ya kwamba I remembered some few years ago I have taught about you can break your circle. But today I'm calling it breaking the circle. Amen. Breaking the circle. Circle kwa Kiswahili ni mfringo. Ni kitu ambaye ina ni mfringo. Na mfringo a circle mara mingi may not know the beginning. Amen. But you have the power and authority to break that circle. Tusome katika kitabu cha John chapter number 9 verses 1 2. John chapter 9 verses 1 to 20 As he went along he saw a man bright from birth his disciples asked him Rabbi who sinned this man or his parents that was born bright we are here verses 2 kutoka tu na Kiswahili wanafunzi wake wakamuuliza wakisema rabi ni upi aliyetenda dhambi mtu huyu mtu, mtu huyu awa wazazi wake hata azaliwa kipofu verses 3 Yesu akamjibu huyu hakutenda dhambi wala wazazi wake bari kazi ya Mungu zi, eh, zidhirishwe ndani yake Praise the name of the Lord. Let's go back to verses 2 again. Verses 2 inasema wanafunzi wakamuuliza wakisema Rabbi wanafunzi ni disciples wa Yesu wale ambao waliokuwa na wao 12 ambao walitembea na Yesu zaidi ya miaka miwili ya miaka mitatu. Na Biblia inasema walipofika pahali wakapata mtu ambaye alikuwa ni kipovu kipovu ni mtu ambaye hana nini haoni mtu ambaye hana macho wakamuuliza kwamba ni nani aliyotenda dhambi ni yeye ama ni wazazi wake hii ni kumaanisha walijua ya kwamba e, anaweza kuwa ametenda dhambi kutoka kwa tumbo ya mama yake amen you remember the sons of isaac Do you remember Jacob and Nani na Esau swalipigana wakiwa kwa tumbo Bwana asifiwe So ni kumaanisha kwamba walikuwa nauliza ni mtoto huyu alitenda dhambi ama ni wazazi wake Wazazi wanaweza kuwa alitenda dhambi kwa sababu in Exodus inasema ya kwamba nitafikishia ke, ma, eh, hasira zangu katika kizazi cha kwanza hadi kizazi cha ngapi kizazi cha ine kwa hivyo inaweza kuwa kizazi cha kwanza kina kinaraumiwa kwa sababu ya I mean, kizazi cha tatu kinaraimiwa kwa sababu ya dhambi ya kizazi cha kwanza generation to generation praise the name of the lord so the disciples were conversant walikuwa wanajua ya kwamba lazima kuwe kuna mmoja wao alitenda dhambi Either awe ni mtoto akiwa kama jazaliwa. Hata Daudi akasema ya kwamba mimi nilizaliwa nili nikiwa mwenye nini? Mwenye dhambi. Amen. So haijulikani alizaliwa akiwa mwenye dhambi na jia gani. Lakini inaweza in, uh, whatever I want to make you uh, know ya kwamba ati mtoto anaweza kuwa ametenda dhambi kutoka akiwa mdogo, akiwa kwa tumbo. Amen. This is a guarantee ya kwamba huyu was uh, disciples walikuwa nauliza Yesu ni nani alitenda dhambi 
ni yeye mwenyewe alitenda dhana na ujui ya kwamba anasema alizaliwa akiwa nini kipovu amen ama ni wazazi wake praise the name of the lord when someone is trapped in a cell destructive habit we sometimes say it runs in the family wakati mtu yote ambaye ame kuwa trapped ama ame ame amekuwa ametegwa katika destructive habit habit destructive habit ni kusema ya kwamba ni mambo ambaye ni machafu either mnajua what i mean by saying this either ikuwe ni usharati ni anything that is evil mtu akiwa katika ndani ya hiyo mambo mara mingi watu sema ya kwamba huyu lazima hii mambo alitoa kutoka kwa na huku nyumba amen during our time eh, tukiwa watoto nakumbuka wazazi walikuwa nasema kwamba huyu anakaa kama mwenye ameitwa nyinyi mmeshasikia mambo kama hayo bwana asifiwe and especially wakikuu unajua wanaitanaga after after watu wao hapo hapo nyuma kama saa zingine mimi naitwa dugu ya baba yangu nasema kwamba huyo hana mtuo yani nakaa kama mwenye ameitwa hiyo jina lake ni mulevi ni mchawi sijui ni mna gani anakaa kama hao na you know that is passing over the mantle praise the name of the law so watu hata wao wenyewe wanasemaga ukiona mtu ambaye ana shida frani hii nakaa kama if is if if alcohol alcoholism alcoholism ni utumiaji wa pombe and addiction learn your family kama ukitazama uone ya kwamba kitu kama pombe eh, ni unywaji wa pombe na kitu kama addiction ya kitu you know addiction can be anything amen chochote ambacho unazoea kufanyaga mara mingi you can be addicted of it hallelujah it if it runs in your family you have got the addictive gene kama ujue ya kwamba ukitazama kama kuna familia ambaye unakuta ya kwamba they don't maintain their wives or they don't maintain their husband amen yani anaoa unasikia kwamba sasa huyu ni mke wake wa tano amen na na, na dugu yake na alikuwa the same now do you get what i'm, I'm teaching about today bwana asifiwe unakuta ya kwamba yale iliyotendeka na dugu yako ya wa kwanza ama baba yako in a, in, a, in a run down to yourself if you if you see that you have come from such a family you have got an addictive gene yani gene ni, ni nini hey hey hallelujah yani ni kama mazoea ni kitu ambayo inatoka inatoka juu kama inazunguka inazunguka inazungukaga inamalizaga watu pole pole praise the name of the lord I have good news today ya kwamba you have you can break that circle and you are going to break that circle praise the name of the lord but let me first explain so that you may get what i i mean amen so which means you are at much greater risk if you pick up a drink a drink or drug kama unajua ya kwamba ukitazama watu wenu ukitazama kanisa lenu ukitazama kijiji cha kwenu amen na zaidi watu ya nyumbani kwenu hata kanisa yenu amen ukitazama unaona ya kwamba watu wanaendaga hivi wanaenda wanazoele wana 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 wakiangukaga hata e, if you start something it will be a, it will be an addiction to you hallelujah but this time i'm talking about more, most families ukitazama uone ya kwamba baba yako ama guka alikuwa mlevi amen Baba yako akawa mlevi. Dugu ya baba yako yule mkubwa ni mlevi. Yaani kitu kama hiyo. Na wanafanyaga desturi kama the same. Praise the name of the Lord. Jua ya kwamba utakapoanzisha jambo fulani ambayo ni ovu, you shall be addicted. Are we in agreement there? Praise the name of the Lord. But there is a way of coming out of it. Bwana asifiwe. So You will notice Jesus didn't get into the nature. Uta notice ya kwamba Yesu akuingia katika the, the, the nature of the nature debate but he said this is just an opportunity 
for God to demonstrate his love and grace by setting this man free. Wakati Yesu alipo ulizo hivo, alijua pari hawa watu wanamulengesha, wanamwerekeza. Ebu turudi katika John chapter 2 verses 3. A, yesu aliwajibu na mnagani. Walipo muliza, alizaliwa kiuwa kipovu. Na, na kutoka kiuwa mtoto. Sasa huyu, ni nani aliyokosea. Amen. Mtu huyu waza, ni wazazi wake, hata azaliwa kiuwa katika kipovu. Verses 3. Verses 3 nasema, Yesu akajibu. Huyu haku tenda dhambi. Amen. Yani ata une, uneza kuja tenda dhambi. Lakini kwa sababu ya ile mambo inakuvuta pale juu. Unajikuta ya kwamba whatever your parents or your grandparents suffered from, you are suffering it today. Amen. Sasa Yesu wakasema haku tenda dhambi. Wala wazazi wake. Bari kazi za mungu zidhirihishwe dani yake. Hallelujah. So ni vizuri Yesu haku entertain. Hakuweza kuambia ya kwamba ninajua ya kwamba pengine ni wazazi wake. Pengine ni huu mtoto walitenda hayo. Pengine ni waza mababu zake walitenda hiyo. Lakini alijue sema ya kwamba ilifanyika hivi ili mungu ajitukuze. Siku ya leo, ninataka kutangaze ya kwamba. Chochote ambao unapitia. Iwe ni iwe ni mambo ya kidini. Iwe ni mambo ya kifamilia. Iwe ni mambo ya villages. Ama mambo ya kubari unatoka jamii. Ukupita hapo kwa sababu ya, 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 ya desuri ya, ya kabila zako. But it was done because of today. So that may the Lord glorify his name today. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Buwana asifiwe. You know, it, nineno na mungu nasema ya kwamba katika Ramentation 5.7 nasema ya kwamba eh, um, hmm, our fathers sinned and, you have, and they died. Baba zetu walitenda dhambi. Hata hawako. Yani hawako ni kusema walikufa. Na sisi tumechukua maovu yao. Yani we are suffering their iniquities. Yesu alikuwa najua kuna mambo kama hayo. Rakini haku taka kuingizo katika the nature. Hallelujah. Kwa sababu alisema ya kwamba najua mungu walitenda hivi. Ili ya jipe utukufu. Remember the Israelites. Wakati walipo kuwa wakito, wakitoka misri. Bibiria ulisema ya kwamba walipo fika katika eh, maji ya shamu. Eh, pale nyuma farawa kaja na jeshirake. Naye Mungu akasema kwa alikuwa amesema kwamba jifanyeni ni kama muna, muna zunguka, zunguka katika nyikali kama watu wanataka kupotea ili nijipatie utukufu amen so mateso zingine tunayoteseka ni Mungu ataka kujipea utukufu haleluya heri kuamini hivyo kwa sababu Mungu anataka kujipea utukufu anajidhihirishaga haleluya bwana asifiwe so your problem may be too big for you. Shida yako ineza kuwa kubwa sana kwako. But it's not too big for God. Lakini sio kubwa kwa mungu. Uneza kama wanaona ya kwamba, hii mambo na imetoka kwa, kwa kizazi hile kichambele. Na sasa na imekolea. Ineza onekana ni kubwa sana mbele zako. Lakini kwa mungu ni kitu ambaye ni duni. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Kama Yesu alifanya jambo moja alifanya namna gani alitema mate chini kwa udongo alipotazama huyo jamaa alikumbuka katika Genesis 3:27 number 3:17 one of pari nasema cast the ground amen check whether it's 3:27 alitazama akakumbuka akajua kwamba rana ilitoka katika hii mchanga kwa sababu huyu binadamu aliumbwa kutoka mchangani check whether it is Genesis 3:27 Praise the name of the Lord. Said, because you listened to your wife and ate fruit from the, the tree about which I commanded you, you must not eat from it. Cast is the ground because of you. Cast is the is the what? The ground. Because of you. Through painful toil, you will eat food from it all the days of your life. Sasa, Yesu alitazama. Hakaona ya kwamba, eh, uyu mjama, kini chake, 
or the, his, his root imetoka katika mchanga. Remember, binadamu aliumbo na mchanga. Isini ukweli? Amen. So, Yesu alifika pahari ya katemea mate. Ebu, kabla tufiki hapo, nataka kusema ya kwamba, God, God doesn't consult your past. Bana asifiwe. God doesn't consult your past in order to determine your future. Yani mungu, he does not determine, I mean, he does not consult your past in order to determine your future as before you met, you met Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Let me repeat it again. God doesn't consult your past in order to determine your future. As before you met Jesus, you are spiritually dead. That's why he said, Mungu, I consult ama hatas me your past. Amen. Unajua kila moja ambaye ameokoka hapa. Anaweza ukitoa ushuhuda anaweza sema kwamba pahali Mungu alikutoa. Hakuna mtu angekutoa pale. Amen. Ulikuwa mtu mwenye dhambi. You are dead katika mambo ya ya, ya, ya kiungu. Lakini katika First Corinthian I mean First Corinthians chapter 5 and verses number 17. Inasema hivi. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he's a new creation. The old things has passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Kama, that's First Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17. If anyone is in Christ, he's a new creation. He's a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Kwa kiswahili, kama ukiwa ndani ya Kristo, mambo ya kale ya naondoka. Mambo ya zamani unasameheo. Daudi ya kasema, na kushukuru buwana kwa sababu haujaniweka viraka za, za dhambi. Amen. So, ye, e, e, paura kianikia wakoritha kwa ambia kwa mba, Unapo, unapo koka, unakuwa kiumbe kipia. Mambe ya kale ya nasaurika. So, hayo mambe ya kale, ambao rio vuka nae. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Ambao rivuka nae. Pengine ulitazama, uli, uliokoka, lakini kuna jambo ambayo ilibakia. Eh, may the Lord deliver you from it. Praise the name of the Lord. It is the word of God that says in Numbers chapter 33. And verses number 55 and 56 and 7. And 56. Ya kwamba, mutakapo ingia katika inchi ya ahadi. But if you do not drive out the inhabitants of the land, those you allow to remain will become bubs in your eyes and thorns in your sight. They will give you trouble in the land where you will live. So, unapo koka, unakuwa kiumbe kipia. Unawacha yare mambo ambaye likuwa ni azamani. Amen. Hallelujah. Na e, mungu walikuwa melenea wa isirali ya wanambia, mutakapo ingia inchi ya hadi. Ini kumalisha kwamba, mutakapo vuka kutoka inchi ya utumwa. Mungia inchi ya hadi. Chochote mutakaye bakisha katika inchi ile. Itakuwa miiba. Amen. Katika macho yenu. Itakuwa miiba katika jia zenu. Lakini, if, you, um, if anyone is in Christ, he's a new creation. The old things has passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Praise the name of the Lord. That's why I've said and repeat again, Akwamba, God doesn't consult your past in order to determine your future. Praise the name of the Lord. That's why he said in John 3.3, 3, you must be born again. John 3.3 3, towards their end. Nasema, you must be born again. Johanna Tatu Mstaru Atatu. Jesus replied, very truly. I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God unless they are born again. Azaliwa tena. Amen. Na kuzaliwa tena ni kusema kwamba azaliwa ya upia. Awache mamba ya kale. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So, from the point forward, from that point forward, the past no longer has any power over you. Unapo zaliwa mara ya piri. The past, mamba ya kale, haina nguvu choyote juu yako. Except 
the power you give it. Ila tu ile nguvu ambayo utaipe. May I repeat once more. From that point ambayo umekuwa born again, the past has no has no, has uh, the past no longer has any power over you. Yaani ya nguvu za kale hazina nguvu chochote juu ya maisha yako. Ila tu ile nguvu ambayo utaiarao ambao the power that uh, except the power you give it praise the name of the lord em nilisema ya kwamba hata job in the book of job 21 verses 19 i'm rushing so that we may finish this topic today in the book of john chapter 21 verses 19 21 19 inasema namna gani you say job 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 j o b ayub you say god keeps punishment stored up for his children it is said god stores up the punishment of the wicked for their children amen bwana asifiwe sana kanisa bwana asifiwe job mwenyewe anasema anakumbusha wale marafiki zake naambia hata sasa mungu anawekaga adhabu ju adhabu ya watoto uh, the punishment of the weekend for their children let him repay the weekend so that they, they themselves will experience it sasa job alikuwa anasema yako najua kitabu ya job ni 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 ana huku mbele sana the 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 theologians who are saying kwamba it is near between genesis genesis it might be the second book in the in the in the, in the, in the bible amen na sasa job anasema god stores up the punishment of the wicked for their children eh, anawekaga mungu anawekaga adhabu ya, wa, ya, ya, ya wazazi kwa watoto wao na na i want to prove to you before we pray ya kwamba what the disciples were asking jesus ilikuwa ni ukweli amen ata Paul nakumbuka Paul katika matendo ya mitume 28 mstari wa 4 kuna watu ambao walikuwa katika ina naira and fran acts chapter 28 verses 4 wakati job when the iradas saw the snake hanging from his hand they said to each other this man must be a murderer for though he had escaped from the sea the goddess the goddess justice has not allowed him to live unajua hali watu ambao walikuta wakati paul alikuwa katika um, ocean for a long time walikuwa wame meri imeshindikana mambo magumu mwapata lakini walipotokea walipo kuwa na asha moto kwa katika miti moja paka tokea nyoka na ikajikoel a very dangerous snake ikajikoel katika 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 mkono wake so paul gathered a pile that is verse 23 verse 3 uh, verse 3 read verse 3 paul gathered a pile of brushwood and as he put it on the fire a viper driven out by the heat fastened itself on his hand sasa ilikuwa tu ni mkosi lakini the Irlanders in verses 4 nasema hivyo yakakosa ile verses 4. Wanamkumbuka ya kwamba eh, yani yale ambaye umekuwa ikikusumbua ni mambo ambaye wenyeji walipomuona yule nyoka akilewa lewa mkononi mwa wakamwambia wakaambiana hukosi mtu huyu hukosi mtu huyu ni muaji ambaye ijapokuwa ameokoka katika bahari haki ali alimwachi kuishi amen this is a confidence ya kwamba chochote ambaye inafuata mtu ni yale ambaye imetokana na huku nyuma but today we want to operate as jesus operated alisema hii mambo haikufanyika kwa sababu ya ya dhambi iliyo tendo na huu kijana mtoto lakini ama wazazi ilifanyika ili Mungu ajidhirihishe praise be to the name of the lord up to where we are umejua ya kwamba 
Kuna mambo ufuata mtu ya, ki, ya kifamilia. Did you get that one? Umejua ya kwamba kuna mambo inezafuata we ambaye ni ya katika pahari naishi. Amen. Na lakini tunataka kusimama na neno la Yesu. Ya kwamba hii mambo inaya kufuata. Sio kwa sababu wazazi wako walitenda dhambi. Hata kama walitenda hataki kujua. Si hata Yesu waliakuta kujua. Amen. He did not entertain that. Alisema ilifanyika kwa utukufu wa jina la Bwana. Ili Mungu siku ya leo ajitukuze. Praise the name of the Lord. Unajua kuna mambo hata magonjo uzabazwa. Inasabazwa kutoka kwa mababu, uh, uh, kwa baba, kwa wewe, kwa mtoto, kwa mtoto wa mtoto wako, na mtoto wa mtoto wako ikiwa kizazi cha ina inakuwa the perishing generation. Amen. But for today we are now we are inheriting the Lord Jesus. Yesu akasema namna gani? Katika mstari wa sita. Hebrew ni katika John our, our topic comes from John chapter 9 from verses 1 down to the story ambayo inapali taishia. Verses, verses 6 inasema Alipo kuisha kusema hayo alitema mate chini akafanya tope kwa yare mate. Akampaka kipofu. Tope, ya, tope, tope za macho. E, this means in other words he went back to the root of his problem. He knew the root of the problem ya huyu kijana ni mchanga. Si tumesoma Genesis 3:17, bahari mchanga ililaaniwa. Alijua ya kwamba anajua ya kwamba huyu huyu mtu binadamu aliumbwa, aliumbwa kutokana na mchanga. So, alipotema mate kwa sababu Yesu alikuwa na nguvu za kusema akamwambia ponda katika jina langu. Amen. Ama amwambie katika kwa sababu ya, 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 ya your faith you are healed. But this time, alitaka kuji, mungu ajithirihishi. Alitema mate katika, katika mchanga. Hii ni kumanisha. The wasomi usema ya kwamba this DNA inakuwa more strong kwa mate. Amen. So, eh, na kwa sababu huyu mtoto aliumbo na mungu. Huyu kijana mzee alitoka kwa Mungu aliumbwa na mchanga na, na Mungu mwenyewe na Mungu Yesu ni mwana wa Mungu amen that's the reason alitema mate chini ya mchanga akampaka ama akamcement huyo mzee katika macho yake haleluya bwana asifiwe god doesn't treat your symptoms Mungu ukitaka vizuri Mwambie asitreat your symptoms. But what does he do? He goes back to the source of your problem. Hallelujah. God doesn't treat your symptoms. Symptoms, ni kusema ya kwamba, unaonekana kama una COVID, kwa sababu una kohoa, kwa sababu unafaa jambu prani, anaendaga chini to the, to the root. Praise the name of the Lord. And that's why, since you want ya kwamba, our healing should be permanent. Praise the name of the Lord. Kwa sababu mungu, he does not treat, uh, treat just the, sy- the sy- symptoms. He goes back to the source of our problem in order to set you free from it. Diposa ali, ali anza na, na matope. Akampaka matope. Then, the blind man had never seen from bad. Simna kumbuka tumesoma kutoka ujana wake. Kutoka utoto wake ajaona. So, akamwambia kwamba nenda katika siro wangu uende ukafaya nini ukaonaye mkono ukaonaye macho you can imagine that's verse 7 akamwambia nenda kanawe katika birika ya siro wangu maana yake aliyetumwa basi akaenda na kunawa akirudi anaona, akirudi anaona unajua mtu ambaye haoni it doesn't matter the journey in ina ni kama kutoka hapa hadi wapi lakini safari yoyote ni mrefu kutoka kwake amen hata kama ijulikani siro wangu ilikuwa safari ya aina gani lakini juu ya kwamba ni mtu ambaye alikuwa haoni but i want to thank god because there was somebody ambaye alikuwa amemwambia yesu anakuja there was somebody who was holding his hand na kumwambia kwamba yesu atapitia hapa amen 
huyu mtu hakumwacha i want to encourage you brethren and especially those who preaches to the non believers to be born again usichoke kwa kumshika mkono usikae kwamba kwa sababu ulimleta kanisani ukamwachilia amen praise the name of the lord endelea huyu jamaa mwenye anja anja tabulika na atabulika nagi si hakuna pari bibia inaongea juu ya huo mtu lakini unajua kwamba lazima kuwe kuna mtu alikuwa amemleta na kuna mtu alimshika mkono akamwambia si Rohamu ni pale akampeleka hadi si Rohamu alimwambia alimpeleka pale jia ambaye Yesu alikuwa anapita kwa hivyo alimpeleka kanisani haleluya ni usimwachilie useme ya kwamba washauri yake sasa ataongea huku amen kuna mtu ambaye alikuwa rafiki yangu zamani mtu ya biashara eh, baadaye akaingia kwa siasa kuingia kwa siasa biashara zikaisha akawa mtu ambaye alikuwa na shida alienda kwa rafiki yake akamwambia akamwambia hii mambo yote uko naye pengine nikupeleke pale fulani alimshika akamweka kwa gari akampeleka kwa kanisa akamwacha pale akamwambia kwa unao kuogeza hivi kila yani hapo ndio unaweza saidikia lakini alimwacha saa huyu mtu alikuwa ananiambia tunaambia kwamba vile alishikwa mkono akapelekwa kanisani lakini hata kama aliwacho alitupo pale baada ya kumpeleka pale na akamwambia maji ndio hii and you know siroam ilikuwa kizima ya kawaida ilikuwa ni kama pit ilikuwa imejengwa ilikuwa ina maji ya siroam ilikuwa the water from the sacrifice for uh, ya, ya, ya altar did you get that one kwa altar ya, ya hekaro ya kwanza siroam ilikuwa imetengenezewa ime, ime imechimbo shimo pari kando Arafu maji yote ambayo ime, imefanya sacrifice ama imeosha imeosha madha, um, vitu za madhabahu ilikuwa ina mwaika inaenda pale. Kwa hivyo haikuwa tu jambo la kawaida. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Kwa hivyo Yesu alimtuma aende akaona awe na maji ambaye ilikuwa imetoka katika hekaru. Hallelujah. The ma, the, ma, the pride man had never seen from birth. Going to wash at the pool of Siloam was quite a, quite a distance for him it took a process for the healing amen it took a process ya kupona na ndiposa ninasema ya kwamba ukiwa Mungu anakukomboa ukomboze ukujagi pa it's a process amen a process na, uh, of righteousness a process ya maombezi praise the name of the lord So huyu jamaa kumtuma pale ili aende aende kwa Siroam ilikuwa a process so that he may break the circle praise be to the name of the lord it is said that the water although I have said it which flowed into the pool of Siroam came from the temple and was used to clean the utensils and was part of the worship and sacrifice hallelujah I have said that It doesn't matter whether your parents contributed you to your problems or made a bad choice in life but uh, it doesn't matter whether your parents contributed to your problem or made a bad choice in your life Jesus can set you free can make you, you whole and give you a new life Bwana asifiwe sana Aijalishi kama ni wazazi walikuingisha katika hii shida haijalishi kama ni viongozi waliokuwa mbele zako walikuingisha katika hii shida lakini yale yanajalisha ni ya kwamba Jesus can make you whole Jesus can sanctify you Yesu ana huruma za kukukomboa praise the name of the lord he came because of the same ali ali wakati alipotoka mlimani in the book of Luke chapter 4 verse 18 alitisha the scroll of his uh, Isaiah akasema in chapter 4 Luke chapter 4 verse 18 akasema roho wa bwana yumo juu yangu bwana asifiwe roho wa bwana yumo juu yangu kwa maana amenitia mafuta kwa hubiria maskini habari jema amenituma kwa tangazia wafungwa kufunguliwa kwao amen na vipovu kupata kuona atina nini na vipovu 
kupata kuona tena kuacha huru waliosetwa yani roho wa bwana alikuwa amemuita na kutangaza mwaka wa bwana uliokubaliwa alikuwa amemuita amemuita na amempa nguvu na mamlaka na hizo nguvu aliwaachia the disciples na aliomba akasema haya ambayo ninawaachia na, na, na wale watakaye waamini amen wale watakaye amini ijiri hii hata na wanaombea praise the name of the lord so it doesn't matter whether your problems you inherited it from your or it was contributed by your parents or you are pro, you made a bad choice in life jesus is ready to set you free today how do you break the circle how do you break the circle number one. how do we break the circle number one. identify the problem how do you break the circle tutavunja hii mfiringo namna gani lazima we identify the problem in john chapter 9 verses 25 verses 25 huyu jamaa alipoulizwa maswali mengi na wale masudasizi na mafarisao alisema namna gani john chapter 9 verses 25 One thing I know basi yule mtu akamjibu kwamba yeye ni mwenye dhambi sijui najua neno moja kuwa mimi nilikuwa kipovu na sasa naona amen alisukumwa na hao ukisoma hiyo story nitusaki ukisoma yote ukisoma utasikia kuna wale mafarisao walikuja walitaka asitambue Yesu kama kuha, kama kama Kristo lakini walimuuliza wali hivi wewe kweli ulikuwa ulikuwa nini ulikuwa kipovu lakini yeye akajibu akaambia akawaambia yeye ni mwenye dhambi akasema alimuuliza haujui huyu mwenye anasema hivi ni mwenye dhambi na yeye akasema basi yule mtu akamjibu kwamba yeye ni mwenye dhambi sijui hebu yaka kwa NIV tuanzie 24 he replied A second time they summoned the man who had been bright give glory to God by telling the truth they said we know this man is a sinner so unaona ya kwamba walikuwa mafarisao wanasema eh, atukuze Mungu kwa sababu eh, ape, aseme ukweli yani ukweli wao adanganya aseme ya kwamba sio Yesu amemponya na anasema unajua yeye ni mwenye dhambi he replied whether he is a sinner or not i don't know One thing I do know I was bright but now I see you must identify the problem lazima ujue shida iko wapi amen some people may say the days of miracles is past lakini the truth is marakai 36 nasema for I am the lord I change not mimi ndiye mungu nasibadiliki amen marakai 36 and therefore you are you sons of jacob are not consumed kwa hivyo i the lord do not change hata kama ni siku hizi ni siku zingine lakini the miracles are still there praise the name of the lord still jesus anaponya bwana asifiwe so number one, how to break the circle you have to identify it Ujue ya kwamba kwa identify ni kusema unajaribu kujua hii tabu nilitoa wapi hii mashida niko naye nani alifungulia milango amen bwana asifiwe ni wazazi wangu ni babu zangu ni watu ya kijiji changu ni marafiki zangu ni pia group unajua pia group sio lazima iwe ni vijana hata wazee hata wa mama anaweza kuwa ni pia wana kwa katika ina pia group amen We have to identify the problem. Na huyu jamaa alisema hajui hajalishi kama Yesu ni mwenye dhambi ama sio mwenye dhambi. But one thing I know I was bright. Amen. One thing you know that you have been in uh, umeikuwa inter, intermingled na ama entangled na, na dhambi ama na kitu fulani ambayo inakusumbua. You have to identify your problem. Praise the name of the Lord. 
as I go to the next one, start now thinking where your problem started. Ni wapi shida yako ilianzisha? Ni wakati uliongeresha na mtu mzee? Ni wakati ulitembelea pengine diviner? Ni wakati ambao pengine ulifanya jambo fulani? Ni wakati ulitusi mama yako na baba yako? Where does your problem started? Amen. So that as we finish up, as I speak the presence of God, Mungu naye atakufomboa because you have identified your problem. Praise be to the name of the Lord. Number two, you have to take responsibility for it. Unapo identify your problem, you must take responsibility for it. Lazima, you take responsibility for it. Problem, you must take the responsibility for it. Amen. Do not blame another person for your situation. You must take responsibility for it. Do not blame another person for your situation. Let me give an example there. Mnakumbuka kuna wasikati Saulo, Saulo alipofanya kuwa mfalme, Saulo ile mfalme wa Israeli. Alipofanya kuwa mfalme, kuna wakati alienda kumaliza maadui. And in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 15 and verses number 9, alipoenda pale, Saulo alifanya namna gani? Ali Alimaliza vitu mingi lakini akabakisha mfalme mmoja aliyokuwa anaitwa Agag. But Saul and the army spared Agag, the fat calves and the rams, everything that was good. Alibakisha nini? Spared Agag. Amen. And I said here last Tuesday or Thursday, Tuesday, nikasema ya kwamba huyu Agag if you remember the book of Esther, do you remember the book of Esther? Chapter 9. Kuna pahani asema, Haman the Agagite. Kwa hivyo, alikuwa Haman, alikuwa uzari, ukatika wa uzari wa Hagagi. Amen. Na Haman, alikuwa muwaji, alikuwa adui wa nini? Adui wa, wa Israeli. Na Biblia inasema, it is, uh, I think it is uh, Esther chapter 9 verse 24. Bahari ambapo Haman ali, ali, uh, yeah. for Haman son of Hamedadi the Agagite Simona hiyo Bwana asifiwe na ukumbuke ni Saul alikuwa amebakisha nani Agagi so Haman son of Hamadaz the Agagite the enemy of all the Jews had plotted against the Jews to destroy them and had cast and had cast the pearl that is the rod for their ruin for destruction. Wakati Esther aliambiwa ya kwamba na Mordecai walijua kwamba Haman ametengeneza mpango wa kuamaliza. Hakuanza ku blame Sauli. Amen. He did not start started blaming Saul. Hakuanza kusema ya kwamba kama Saul angebakisha huyu Agag, huyu Haman angepatikana. But what did he did she say? Katika Esther chapter number 4 verse 16. Ali itana. Esther chapter 4 verse 16. Ali tangaza, go gather together all the Jews who are in Susa and fast for me. Ali itisha maombezi. Amen. So, praise the name of the Lord. Remind me what was number two. Do not you take responsibility. So Esther took the responsibility with Kiwana Mordecai. So usianze kuraumu baba yako ama babi yako. Kusema kwa mba, kama baba ange tuza, hatunge kuwa na hii shida. Kama baba ange fanya hii jambo hii na hii. Esther alitisha maombezi. Amen. Situmesoma verse 16 of chapter 4. Alitisha maombezi. Ha, na ujue, it was five generation kutoka between Saul and Esther. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. So, take responsibility. Amen. So, come away addicted by something. 
take the responsibility. Sema ni mimi. Ni mimi nimekuwa addicted. Now, when you take that responsibility, Mungu atakuondolea. Hallelujah. Number three, resolve to change one thing at a time. You resolve to change one thing at a time. You resolve to change one thing at a time. Oh, to vimbiria ni maliza hii. Bwana asifiwe. Nelewa kitu. Amen. What is number three? Resolve to change one thing at a time. Amen. In Isaiah chapter number 62, verses 1 to 3. For Zion's sake, I not keep silence. For Jerusalem's sake, I not remain quiet. Till her vindication shines out like the dawn, her salvation like a brazen touch. Verses 2. The nations will see your vindication, and all kings your glory will be called by a new name that the mouth of the Lord will bestow. Verses 3. You will be a crown of splendor in the Lord's hand, a Lord diadem in the hand of God. So this one, Jesus came to bind up brokenhearted, to proclaim the freedom for the captive and release from the darkness for the prisoners, to proclaim the ear, the, the ear of the Lord's favor. Who is Jesus? Ndiya neno katika Isaiah 61, 62 verses, oh, 61 verses 1 to 3, sorry. Buanas fiwe. Hallelujah. And this one was quoted, katika hile pari tulisoma Luke chapter 4 verses 18. Buanas fiwe sana. In Hebrews, before we go to Hebrews, it doesn't matter I said it again, it doesn't matter your parents contributed to your problems or, this, or you simply made you by bad choice in life. Jesus can set you free. That's why I want you to quote there. Jesus can set you free, make you, make you whole and give you a new life. He did not blame this man or his parents. Yeah, yes, how could blame those, the man? Answer kusema ya kwamba huu jamaa. Pengine alitenda dhambi. Haku prem the parents. Lakini he made whole that man. Hallelujah. And the same thing. Ambaye yesu alifanya pale. Hata sasa anaeza fanya siku ya leo. Hebrews chapter 13 verses 3. Inasema. Jesus. Christ is the same yesterday. Today and forever. Hebrews chapter number 13 verses 3. Continue to, learn, to remember those in prison as if you are together with them in prison. And those who are mistreated as if you are you yourself were suffering. What do I want to say, Nyakwamba? Whatever you are, you are not going to be in prison, you are going to be in prison, you are going to be in prison, you are going to be in prison. Amen. You are going to be in prison, you are going to be in prison, you are going to be in prison. Yani, anything that you try to do, I, 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 but Jesus can set you free. Praise the name of the Lord. That's what I'm saying. Jesus Christ can set you because free, because he's the same today as he was yesterday and forever. What he did, he can still do it for you. Praise the name of the Lord. What he said, he can still say for you. What he did, he still does. Praise the name of the Lord. And that is number three. Number four, and might be the last one. Number four. Number three is he resolves to change one thing at a time. Number four, you remove everyone caught up in your circle. Lazima uondoe. Everyone 
caught up in your circle and move away from your pessim, 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 pessimistic or gospel or friends for a while. Remove everyone caught up in your circle. That's number four. Unapo ondoa everyone that is caught up in your circle. Yani, useme ya kwamba, kama ni baba hiko katika hiyo sako, unamuondoa. Kama ni nyanya hiko katika hiyo sako, kama ni lafiki hiko katika hiyo sako, for a while you remove him from that sako. And then, move away from your pessimistic gospel friends for a while. As you cannot help others until you are out of bondage. Unajua ayo ukiwa gerezani, hawezi kasaidia wengine wako katika gerezani. Amen. Sini ukweli. Ukiwa katika gereza ya jambo frani, you can, there is no way uneza ondoa mungine kariyo katika gereza. Praise the name of the Lord. So you have to remove everyone caught up in your circle. God's power is greater than your habit. Guvu zabana ni kubwa ama ni, ni is greater than your habit. Not only one can set you free from the things that you hold you captive. Sio tu kukuweka huru kutoka zile vitu zina kushika. He can deliver you from its lingering effects. His word for you, to you is this one. Bonus fear. God's power is greater than your habit. And not only can he set you free from the things that hold you captive, Sio kukuweka huru peke yake. But he can deliver you from its lingering effects. Unajua kuna the effects za captivity. Amen. They are the effects of the captivity. And that's the one that we are now de- talking to them. Ya kwamba, those effects, God can deliver you from them. Unajua the effects ni kusema ya kwamba, unaonekanaga ukiwa mtu mzuri sana lakini matendo yako haina mwelekeo unaonekanaga ya kwamba na huku na huku jijiani wewe ni mzuri sana lakini nyumba yako imejaa shida amen god cannot only deliver you from that captivity but he can also deliver you from the effects of the captivity out or out of the body god's power praise the name of the lord na nipoza anasema ya kwamba Katika Isaiah 43 na 18, maya sema, forget the former things. Hallelujah. 43, 18. Sema, forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. Lazima, kama unatitaji mungu wa kumboe wewe. Kama unatitaji kukata hii mfiringo. How to break the mfiringo. You must forget the former things. Because God is doing a new thing. Do not dwell on the past. Amen. Kushinda kusema ya kwamba kutoka zinilipo olewa, mara ya kwanza ulinditenda hivi. Ulikanisemea hivi. Ukanifanya hivi. Kutoka wakati nilipo owa, ulifanya hivi. Forget the former things. Amen. Sahawe ya liyo ambao mepitia. The Bible says, forget the former things, do not dwell on the past. See, I'm doing a new thing. Mungu lafanya nini? Jambo jipia. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I'm making a way. Mungu nafanya jia. Pahari ambapo wakuna jia. Making a way in the wilderness. And streams in the western. So, the, the, the word there is, you have to forget the, new, the, the former thing. Because God is doing a new thing. Praise the name of the Lord. And you have to remove everyone caught up in your circle. Kama ni marafiki, waeke kando kwanza. Kama ni rafiki wa ulikuingisha katika hii mambo, waeke kando, shugulikia hiyo shida. Utakapo shugulikia, you will be able to go back for them and also deliver them. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And number five, you must feel your, your might. Lazima ujaze mazo yako with the right stuff. You must feel your might with the right stuff. The right stuff, Nixema, the word of God. Bonus fear. You must feel your mind 
with the right staff. And the right staff, ni kusema ya kwamba, it is the word of God. You must make a declaration by the scripture relating to your change. Unapoomba, lazima ufanya declaration kupitia neno la Bwana so that upate kubadilika. Paul, Paul speaks of the washing of water by the word. Paul anaongea juu ya kutakazwa ama kuoshwa kwa maji na, na, na maji kwa neno la Bwana. Katika Ephesians chapter 5 verses 26. Bwana anasema that he may sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. So you have to fill your mind with the right stuff. Lazima ujaze mawazo yako na neno la Bwana. Unapo face the challenges. You have to face them through the word of God. Amen. Paul akasema to make her holy, cleansing her by the washing with water through the word. So the word of God is the one that delivers. Bwana asifiwe. Si Mungu aweke ndani yako the word of God that may deliver you. Ati hata kama mambo inakujia yale ya zamani. Naambia kwamba the Bible says in Isaiah 43:18 forget the past. Just that is enough to fukuza mapepo. Praise the name of the Lord. Unajua sometimes Jesus healed sick people by speaking to them. Aliwaponya kwa kula kwa Other times he said his hand he he laid his hands on them. But for this man was different. Healing was a process. Healing a process. He said to him, go wash in the pool of Siroa. For a blind man, when a parade was a very left son, lakini haiku haku jalisho, burn as if he Praise the name of the Lord. You can say, I told you. You can't say, you can't say, I told you about Jesus and even introduce you to church, but you are still stumbling around that in darkness about by the same problem. Na haku, haku sema ya kwamba ni, ni kuonyesha Yesu hiko pale kwa hivyo we malizana na Yesu. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. In James chapter number, I'm now reading the last of the second last verse so that we finish up. In James chapter number four verse seven, inasema hivi. Be subject therefore to God or submit yourself then to God. Let's seize the devil and he'll flee from you. And verses number eight. Come near to God and he will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your hands, you double-minded. So, unapo kuja kwa bwana, utakazike na wanda neno la bwana. Now you purify your, you purify your hands. Praise the name of the Lord. Then as Hebrews says, ya kwamba, no one shall see God without purity. Utambuona moon. Praise the name of the Lord. So, in John chapter 15, verses 3, the Bible says, now you are clean. You are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. I declare to you today, you are already clean because of the word that I have given to you. That word may sanctify you. That word of God may sanctify you, may deliver you in Jesus' name. Sasa tuweke vitabu chini, tuweze kusimama. As we stand, let me remind you a word in the book of Jeremiah chapter 52. 50, chapter 51, verses 20 and 21. Mbai Nasema, you are my fighting axe. 
Jeremiah chapter 51, verses 20. All you are my war club, my weapon for battle. With you I shatter nations. With you I destroy kingdoms. But it starts by saying, you are my you are my what? Verses 20. When is it I am going to be Jeremiah 52, 51, verses 20. You are my fighting axe and my instrument of war. Sasa nasema wewe. Amen. Wewe ni fimborangu la kupigana. Sijui kwa kiswa hili kama ni fimbo. Nirungu. Wewe ni rungu yangu. Amen. Sasa wewe. Urungu ya mungu. Si mnajua fimbo hile inapigaga watu na masai. Amen. Wewe ni urungu yangu. Langu. Na siraha zangu za vita. Kwa wewe ni tawavunja. Tawavunja vunja mataifa. Kama mungu wana kutumia kufunja vunja mataifa. Kwa nili usivunja vunja yale ambayo ila kusumbua. Amen. Na kwa wewe ni taharibu falme. Kama wewe ni rungu ya mungu. Ataharibu mafalme, the nations, the Gentiles. Ibu 20 verse 21. Na kwa wewe, kwa nani? Sio kwa mimi, sio kwa wewe, kwa mimi. Amen. Na kwa wewe, nitamvunja vunja farasi. Na ye ya mpendae, na kwa, na kwa ye, wewe, nitalivunja kuvunja gali la vita na yeye achukuli achukuliwae ndani yake praise the name of the lord hallelujah write the last verse jeremiah chapter 29 chapter mean 31 jeremiah 31 and verses 29 to 31 amen Sasa tusimame. You have been made clean by the word that I have given you. Amen. It is difficult to teach, but it is good to teach you. Alie na masikio na asikie vile roho na sema. Kwa wewe mungu wa mekufanya kuwa nini? Fimbo rake. Atatumia wewe kupiga mataifa. Kumaliza mataifa. Atatumia wewe kumaliza mafarasi na magali, za, na magali zao. Sasa Jeremiah 31, 29. Inasema hivi. Siku zire hawata sema tena. Mbwana asifiwe. Ebu tuseme siku hizi sasa. Sema tena. Baba za watu, baba, za, baba zetu, seme baba zetu. Baba zetu, wamekura za bibukari. Na, maneno ya, na meno ya watoto wao ya metuwa ganzi. Hatuta sema tena. Hii ilikuwa proverb. Ilikuwa medhali. Ya wano wa Israeli. Ya kwamba, kwa sababu baba ritenda dhambi ya kakula mitabibu mikali, meno za, za, meno za watoto zinangoka. Amen. 